Hey guys, this is Madoba John from MJC Designs. In this video, I want to show you guys how to create curves on a ramp like this. Something like this. Just look at it. Okay. We all know that wall, wall, right, can not do this. Except um, we use morph, right? Not everyone can actually operate morph in the right way. So I'm going to show you guys one of the fastest way to do this. Now, all we did was to create a profile, right? I'll go to, I'll go to profile uh, option, complex profile, profile manager, and I'll show you the profile I created. This is it. Duplicate. Let's say duplicate. Okay. Um, I wanted to see the measurement. Okay, this is the ramp I created. In case you don't know how to do this, you can always do this with your field to go to your document, go to field, and you just draw this shape like so. So you can see we have the measurement already, which is 450 by 400 okay i think it's the other way around so we just remove this part here like so and chamfer this okay i just did some chamfer maybe 50 there about okay it's even smaller so I just reduce it a bit so that was how I created this shape this profile right here I gave it override override and gave it um a material like so that was how I created it let's close now before I close it you have to make sure you activate Wheel here because that's the tool we are going to be using. Wheel, make sure you activate it, okay? Because it is we are going to be using wheel to as it is the fastest and easiest way to create that um ramp um what's it called that um curb on a slanted curved ramp, okay? So you just activate this and you say okay. I'm going to delete this right now. So just select your rail, railing, go to your railing settings, and you have your railing, the last settings of your railing you have before. So what we do is we are going to delete everything we have, okay? Just delete, 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 delete. delete delete all this okay so we are going to place a new hand drill we are going to use hand drill because of this option here so having deleted everything all you need to do is add a new rail hand drill make sure it is hand drill and then you drop it down there then you change it to profile we will go down and change it to the, the profile we created that's it right there okay so that's it right there remove this fixing okay you can change it to zero or and it changes to one it's okay so we go ahead and draw our way start from here and draw okay now that is it you pick the wheel and follow the curve okay when you pick you make sure this is activated follow the curve let's see what we have okay so this is what we have okay and the 
post is still there you can always delete the post just go to post and delete it none okay make sure there is no post okay and then this space here in between this origin here you might have to remove it i think this is not the figure to use we have to go back to the settings and remove it that it should be here here right here remove it change it to zero okay so we have to take this down this point down okay make sure that is activated and you put, drag it down make sure you're holding your shift so it doesn't change direction okay so we have this 50 here let's see if Okay, so we can just have to remove that 50. Okay, this is more like it. As you can see, we have different materials, so you just change, go and change it, and click and go to the settings. Okay, so this is what we have right now. And we go to do the same thing on this side. Just click. Let's use um associative for this to see the difference. As you can see, it snaps at the point. So I think it's preferable. Okay, this is fine. I think the the, or the line, which is the origin line is at the edge there. So the direction changes because of where I started tracing the rail. I, I started from here and traced down from here from this part, I started from this point and traced to the top. So that's why the face, right? The face are opposite each other. So you have to notice all this. So it's like we use associative, right? And it snaps at, at the point here. So what we need to do is take the other point up. Just pick, right, and then drag it down like so. Make sure you have your shift selected and it's straight.
just try to make sure it is straight. So you can see, right? It's it's going to snap at that point, and the angle is at ninety. So you can see, so you just click it. Good. So as you can see, the difference the using associative is faster and gives you accurate um, result because like uh, when you want to trace. The hand drill just use associative so it snaps at the point you so it snaps at the point you want this is how to draw curve on a curved ram okay and going to be at the end of our tutorial thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye bye